University Hospital Brussels, Belgium, installed the escape budget model underneath the mattresses. In this video, you will learn how to use them correctly in the event of an emergency evacuation. Spread the evacuation sheet over the mattress and fold it neatly. Make sure the label is facing upwards and visible. Now fold the mattress in half and unfold the sheet under the mattress. This is the ergonomic way. Do the same at the feet end so that the sheet is neatly spread out under the mattress. You can now tighten the four restraining straps over the corners of the mattress. Make sure the clips are on the side of the mattress. Now place the yellow loops under the mattress until they are no longer visible. In case you need to evacuate, you can use the escape pod in the following way. Disconnect the patient from monitors, IVs, oxygen, or any other medical device, or bring them along. You can now release both straps from under the mattress by pulling them towards you and place them over the patient. On the other side of the bed, pull the D-rings towards you. Thread the strap through the D-ring and tighten the strap using both of your hands. The patient now lies firmly fixated on the mattress. The loose ends of the straps can be safely tucked away between the strap and the mattress. Now lower the bed to the lowest position and release the brake. If possible, turn the bed 45 degrees away from the door and put the brake back on. Take a firm hold on the pulling straps at the foot end with both of your hands. Turn the mattress on the bed frame towards the door. Carefully lower the patient to the floor before dragging the mattress off the bed. Now leave the room to a safe compartment. While pulling, keep your arms and back straight and look over your shoulder regularly. When the patient arrives at the stairs, his feet should face the stairs. Stand a few steps lower. Pull the mattress towards you by using the short pull loop. Pull the patient towards until just past the tipping point. Gently slide the mattress down to your leg and go down the stairs step by step. When descending, always keep one hand on the banister. If you need assistance, one person stands at the head end and one at the foot end. Make sure that you communicate with your colleague. The person at the head end acts as a break. Both responders should keep one hand on the banister while descending. Is the patient suffering or recovering from a back or neck injury? Then you use the escape pod in the opposite way. Remove the pulling strap at the head end and turn the mattress 90 degrees. Carefully lower the head side before dragging the patient out of the room. After using the escape pod, you can clean and disinfect the evac sheets and bed mattresses and prepare them for another use. Fold the yellow straps in half so that the hook and loop fasteners are neatly attached. Now push the strap through the tunnel. Fold the strap with the D-ring in half and put it under the elastic before it goes into the tunnel. Fold the pulling strap at both head and feet end and tuck it away in the pocket. The evacuation sheet is now ready for use.